There are multiple ways of creating a cube highway network. One of the ways of creating a highway network is to open the cube software, go to file, go to new, and then go to network file. Then choose the folder where you want to save this network file, type in the highway network file and the extension .NET here and just save. It's going to ask you what are the maximum number of zones. For example, I'll just say here number five. And then you have to provide a range of the X coordinates and the Y coordinates. In this example, I'm just going to give it a range from zero to say 100. And the Y also goes from zero to say 100. And I just say, okay. When I say, okay, it's going to create a sample highway network. Now, this sample highway network has some properties so to look at the properties, I'll just left click on any of this link. And over here, I can see that it has one attribute, which is distance, and it has only one directional. How do I know if it's one directional? I can go to post arrows and click on network layer. Now I can see the arrows here, and this means it is one way. To create additional highway links on this network, I can click on add two way link, click on the starting point and then drag on to the end point. Now, since I added a two way link, I can left click again here and I see there are two properties of this link. That means one is for one direction, another one is for other direction. To look at the node numbers of this highway network, what I will do is I will go to post node option and I'll go to post all and from the drop down menu, I'll select node N and I'll say, okay, this will give me the node numbers of the highway network. And this is a very simple way of creating any sketch model for research or for any testing purpose. The second way of creating a highway network is to launch data manager. To launch data manager, what we need to do is we need to click on the white cylinder on the top left and it will launch data manager over here. And on this, in this uh, data manager, we need to click on build network from shapefile tool. And this is our options here. To look at the build network from shape, what this means is we have an existing shapefile already created by somebody. It's called as an extension of .shp. This shp file will be then used to create a .net file. To create this file, first I will launch this .shp file and I will use it as an input. Then I have to provide an output destination. Output destination can be in any location. I will just give a name of network.net. Since highway networks in cube have defining of the starting point as A and the ending point as B, I need to click on add new A and B fields. Depending upon what, how your GIS file was built, like each feature could be one way or each feature could be two way, or there could be an indicator field which defines that this is a one way or a two way field. You can select this particular option. For now, I'm going to just click on all one way. If you need to add another distance field, addition to what you already have in a shape file, you can click on add distance field. Then you need to provide a starting node number. If your zones are less than 1000, this is a good point. If your zones are, say, 5000, you need to provide a node number which is greater than the maximum zone number. So if I give a maximum zone number of 25, my node numbers can start anywhere from 26 to uh, anywhere of more than 26. For now, I'm just going to create as a 1000. When I say run here, if it says import complete, that means my .NET file has been successfully created. To create that, to open it, I'll go to open. I'll go to my build network shape. I'll go to network.net. And over here, I will see this is my .NET file that I just created. Look closely over here. The highway networks in cube, they are actually stick networks. That means you do not have true shape information. To get the true shape information, we need to have the SHP files as underlying layers. To click on, to add this underlying layer, I'll click on the layer control here. 
I'll go to the poly line. I'll browse to the road center line.sp file. I'll open it. I'll say all done. When I'm done this, I'll go to GIS tools. I'll use true shape display and automatically it will pick up the A and B fields that we just created. And I'll have to say on here. When I say on says true shape files for 1061 links found for all the links and say OK. And then you will see that your true shapes have been displayed. So this is creating a replica of your .shp file to a .net file. Now, a highway network just does not include a node or a link. It also includes zones or centroids or centroid connectors. To add centroids and centroid connectors, we first need to add an underlying boundary file. So in, the, in this case, the underlying boundary file is, for example, taz.shp. If I say OK here, I'll say done. Then I need to go back to my node. And there's an option here which says automatic add centroid. If I say yes here, and it will ask me which field represents the zone number in your highway network in your uh, polygon file. I'll say TAZ. I'll say OK. It's going to say 16 zone centroids have been added. That means the number of zones in this case are only 16. So as you see, all these zone nodes have been created automatically. Next thing is we need to add centroid connectors. So I'll click on automatic add centroid connectors here. Now, when I it, it asked me multiple questions here. First question is how many number of connectors you want to generate for each node? I'll just say four. What is the maximum distance? I'll say two. The detection will factor in four. Now, if you have any condition, like you do not want a zonal centroid to con uh, connect to connect to an intersection or to a particular expressway or a freeway, you can describe all these options here. For now, I'm just going to say, okay, it is going to say, these many number of zone connectors created. And if I go back to my highway network, you will see that my zone centroids have been created as well. So this is one, this is now a completion of our highway network. There is another way of creating a cube highway network. In this case, what we will do is we will not use an existing shape file or anything from scratch. In this case, we will first launch a GR database and we will use an imaginary file like a world street map or a world imaginary file. And then we will draw our roadway segments. This is a very good exercise if you have to extend an existing highway network or if you want to create something from scratch itself. To do that, first we need to create a new GR database in the data manager. I'll go here and then I need to create a new GR database. I will just say that create in the file name, say GIS network, and I'll say it's a GDB file, it's a GR database, and this is to store cube networks. I'll say, OK, create. It says it has been created. I'll just say, OK. Now, when this .gdb file is being created, then I will go to file. I'll go to new, and I'll go to GIS map. Uh, sorry, I'll go to Geo database and I'll go to Geo database network. When I get to this point, it will ask me what is the existing Geo database. I'm going to say this is my existing Geo database. This is the GDB file. And what is the Geo database file name? I'll just say network here. So network is the feature data set that I'm creating under this Geo database right now. And this is a cube highway network. My maximum number of zones I can say as a five, and I'll say create. When it says I've been created, uh, the highway network has been created. You can open the GR database file and open the highway network by double clicking it. Now this will open the highway network, which is kind of empty right now, in the ArcGIS cube GIS. To add now new links. One of the ways what we can do first is we can add an underlying server data. For example, if I add uh, our, the server data from ArcGIS Online, I can add World Street Map. And once the World Street Map is open, I can say launch 
where I want to create this network. Example, let me just take an example of Singapore. And let's just take an example what we can do in this particular area here. Now, I have to create a highway network here. To create a highway network, I'll just say first start editing. Then I'll start clicking on the network link because this is what I have to create first. I'll go to create feature and I can create these features. And when I have to stop creating these features, I can double click it. And it is going to ask me what is the node numbers and I'll just say OK. And what's the new B? I'll just say OK. And this is my new highway network. Similarly, I can draw another network just like this. And with the help of this options, I can create a new highway network. If I uncheck this world street map, this is what I see. So these are the three ways of creating a cube highway network.